Do I forgive this person who has lied to me on multiple occasions? Is that the loving thing to do? Or do I stand up for myself and my own values and say no more? Is that the loving choice? This is the deep dive with Adam Roa. When we can remove the lens of right and wrong, when we can stop comparing ourselves and our actions to some idea of what love is, and start to come into our hearts, we can take action based on that space. We can start to make our decisions and our choices based on what love looks like to us. And that's what I believe is the most important takeaway from today's topic, which is love is relative. What I think is the most loving thing for me to do in a situation, you might say that is not love at all. Someone that you're dating may do something from a space of what they think love is, and it may completely break your heart. And the thing is that just because they did it out of love doesn't mean that that's the type of love that you want. And that's the important thing about relationships. <laughs> love is unconditional. Relationships are not. You can have unconditional love for someone. You can have compassion for how they're showing up. You can even understand why they did the thing they did. But to be in relationship with someone, there are conditions. There are boundaries. There are ways in which you get to be treated. There are ways in which you get to show up for the people you are in relationship with. And this is not just a romantic partnership. This is your business partnerships. These are your friendships. These are your family dynamics. In each and every one of your relationships, there are conditions. And the thing is, if you don't know what those conditions are, if you, don't, if you aren't a stand for how you want to be treated and how you desire to treat others, if you don't stand for that, if you're not clear about that, then what happens is when someone hurts you, when someone shows up in a way that doesn't feel good, you don't even know why. You just know your feelings are hurt. And so what happens is in, in most scenarios, people wind up in the same patterns. They wind up with friendships where they continue to feel and experience the same things. They wind up with romantic partners who continue to treat them the same way they've been treated in the past because the awareness is not there for why. Awareness gives us choice. <laughs>